Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry. In today's video, I'm gonna be updating you all on my health and doing a what's in my bag. So if you're interested in this video, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I have been away for about a week, I think. Not really sure how long, but I did put on my community post that I had kind of had a setback with me falling through my attic floor and all. So I went out walking and I was running some errands one day because I was feeling pretty good and so I felt like I could walk. I went um, walking, I was walking on a treadmill to reduce the impact of walking like on the ground and stuff. And I was walking at a pace of about 1.4, which is if you're not familiar with how fast that is, it's almost like lunging and walking. So I was walking and after I got done walking, I was feeling tired. I went back to my car and you know how when you're feeling tired, you just kind of plop down in your seat in your car. My car has, well, my SUV has bucket seats and the seats kind of come out like this. And so what happened as I was sitting down, I hit my back onto my seat after I got one of my legs in my car. And then my body felt like it just exploded and I could not get my other leg in my car. I was having like severe back pain and I was having trouble walking or just doing anything. I could not move, couldn't lift my legs. I mean, all my body function was just kind of messed up where I really couldn't do anything like literally. So I had to lay down for about four days and finally after that, after about the fifth day, I was feeling better, but I gave myself about three more days just to kind of recover. I, uh, I learned that I did pull a muscle in my back and so after falling, I was feeling okay, but I think just walking around and running errands on the 2nd of January, I just overdid it for my body. And I ended up pulling a muscle in my back, so that kind of set me back with my healing. And I had to take some more time to kind of recover and let my body just do its thing. So I'm feeling much better. I have full mobility of my body now, so I am feeling great. Still recovering, but not as bad as I was on January the 2nd. So let me show you guys what bag that I've been carrying. I have been using my Speedy 25 and the Damier of Being Print. I have had this bag, I think, since 2017. I did buy this bag pre-loved off of eBay from a trusted seller. And then I did get this um, where I got it authenticated. So this is my Speedy 25 in the classic. I did want to get this in the bandolier style, but this one came available. I got this. I think for $599, either $599 or $699, I cannot remember, but it was a really good price and so I jumped on it and it came with the keys and everything. Now usually when I carry my Damier Abeam pattern, I do try to carry red accessories or I'll carry pink, it really doesn't matter, but in this case, since the inside of the bag is red, I chose all red accessories. For this bag I do have a organizer in this bag because I don't like it when my bags sag on the bottom so I do have an organizer in there and I'll show you I'll pull out the items that I have in here it's my standard items my phone this is not an authentic case I got this case off of Amazon like maybe two years ago so that's at the time before they were really scrutinizing selling I guess replicas on Amazon, but I got this off of Amazon. Then I have my mini pochette. I bought this for my daughter and I have the monogram one. I rarely use this. I think I've used this twice since I've had it in like four years, but I am using it this week in this bag to match. And you see those really don't match in color, but different errors. I'm carrying my Coach double zip wristlet and this one is in the small. I love this. I am using this to hold like extra cards and I do have like a lip gloss, like some makeup on the side. It's like a junk drawer kind of in my purse. So all my like gift cards, you know, insurance card, AAA card, 
just extra cards that I can't keep in my little wallet that I'm carrying. All that goes in here. And I just love how that matches with this. Next, I'm using this Juicy Couture wallet. You all saw this in my haul when I hauled that all that Juicy Couture stuff. I opted to keep this because I really didn't have a red wallet. And why buy a Coach wallet or something else when I can just use this? Love this. And I can put my keys on this, but I didn't. I just had my keys loose in my bag. I have some gift cards that's loose. I have my selfie stick. I was out of town, so I needed to have my selfie stick to take pictures. And then just, you can see how that looks in there. I have my Chanel mirror. I have my Chanel mirror right here. And I have some jewelry. I was wearing this jewelry, but I took it off and I stuck it in my bag. And I have a lip gloss that's loose in here. It should be in, in the little red case, but I guess I got lazy and didn't put it back. And then here are my keys. And I think that's all. I have like some random gift cards on the side pockets. I'll show you. I have some gift cards on the side pockets. But you can see how that looks in there. Alright you guys, so that is it for this update on how I've been doing. Thank you all for sending me words of getting well and different things like that. I truly appreciate you all for doing that. You all don't know how that made me feel. Thank you all for watching this video. Welcome to my new subscribers. I have some new videos coming for you all. I'm going to post those tomorrow and the rest of this week. As always, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Please subscribe if you are not subscribed. And I will see you all in the next video. Alrighty. Bye.